All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a Monet inspired bridge. So let's get going. All right, so for this project, we're gonna need a couple things. So the first thing you need is a pencil and a marker and uh, some coloring supplies, preferably either color pencil or, or crayon. Uh, but just one marker, uh, you can either do red or green uh, to match the real thing, which I can probably post somewhere here or there. We'll see. Anyways, let's get going. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the bridge with pencil. It's actually a lot easier than you think. So what you do, all you do is just two, two curves, one right here. Ooh, a little not uneven. There you go, I did in pencil. So one right there. And then another line arcing the same direction going right there. I do have some examples on my phone. I hope to post it into this video so you guys can see a little better. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna make some completely vertical lines to make the bars in this um, bridge here. All right, so I did a total of five. I have one directly in the middle. Once I do it in pencil, I'm going to erase it a little bit just so when I do marker on top of it, uh, the um, pencil marks don't really show that much. So I'm going to do a light erase here, very light, it's pretty light, all right, perfect. All right, now that I have that line erased, I'm going to trace it back in marker. So here I go, go one arc right here, and notice how I'm using the side of my marker, so it's a nice thick line. So if you don't have a marker and you're doing this in crayon or color pencil, you want to make sure that you are going back and forth a couple times to get that effect. Let's go up and down a couple of times like this. Perfect. Now these lines aren't thick enough as the way I want, so I'm gonna go back again. Try to make these lines a little thicker. So there we go, that one's a little thicker. Which is great. I do wanna make this top one thicker as well. It does look better that way. I think I might wanna make some of these dividing lines a little better too. So I'm gonna add a little bit of thickness to these lines here, just by adding more. Great, now to make this bridge three-dimensional, I'm gonna show you guys where to place uh, some of these extra lines here. So I'm gonna use a different color marker. Um, this one's called turquoise, and I think turquoise would be perfect for how to do this bridge. So right now I'm just trying to look how they did it on these variety of projects here. It looks like they put it below this line right here, so I'm gonna go nice and light. It's not as dark as I want, so I'm gonna tell you a secret of what I normally do. When there's a marker that I chose and the marker is not as dark as I want it to be. Um, so I'm gonna let that dry first. So let me do the rest of them. Um, this one's double layered. Should I do double layer? No, I'm gonna just do one single layer. All right, so now I'm just gonna do uh, upside down L's on each of these parts of the bridge here. So one right here, one right here, uh, one right there. And then I'm gonna keep going until I reach the end. So now the bridge is starting to look more 3D, which is what we want. For the last one, I can't do the L shape. It's gotta stop right there. All right, so now to make it darker, um, you don't wanna trace back with black. You don't want to do that. It'll also become too dark. Just go back with a gray and it should make that color darker. So this one's a little bit um, wet still. So I'm gonna go try below here. Oh, yep, see it's working. So this one's gonna be darker just by putting a little bit of gray on top of it. All right, I put gray on top of that one already. Right, I'm just gonna finish this off. And put gray on all of these. All right, it's looking really good now. Perfect. Great, that's the bridge I want. Now, let's try to do a little bit of a fade of color in the background, and then we can start adding our details here and there. All right, so what I wanna do, um, I do wanna do a fade of bright colors in the middle inside area, and then we'll do greenery area uh, later on. So I want you guys to take a yellow, crayon or color pencil, and I want you guys to make a little bit of a circle right here. So here is my circle right in the middle of my page. So if it dips, dips below the bridge, it's fine. I'm just gonna color this nice and yellow as light as possible. Well, not too, don't press too light, but don't press too hard either. And let's color the whole section yellow, just like so. I've never done this before, but hopefully, hopefully it turns out really good. All right, so the next color you wanna do is an orange. You wanna to try to find a light orange here. If you don't have light orange, just press lighter with your orange here. 
That's melon. It's not gonna work. All right, this is, look at that, this is yellow orange. So this will work perfectly. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go inside the bridge, not below the bridge though this time. I'm just gonna highlight the rest of the sky area right here. Completely orange, about this much. Almost look like I'm kind of doing someone's hair on this uh, yellow portion right there. All right, this looks really good. I'm gonna fade it a little bit towards the edge of the page. All right, now I wanna to try to find a regular orange. I think I got it right in the first try, which I did. So I'm gonna color the rest of this orange. I have to go inside the bridge, which is fine. Go over here. It's great. I'm gonna go all the way to the top. At least, all the way to the edge at least. So this would probably look better with watercolor, but uh, I don't want to teach you guys that. <laughs> not not here right now. All right, I'm gonna go with a red. Uh, if I can find a red orange, that'll be perfect though. All right, and I found, I found, a, found a red orange. So I'm gonna finish off this top end with a red orange. Perfect. All right, so far the picture itself is looking great. And that's what I wanted, uh, so that's awesome. But now I'm gonna tr switch gears to a different color. So now I'm gonna try to find a light green. I'm gonna try to fill in this bottom area, okay? So I'm gonna try to go over here, fade into this section. And I'm gonna stop right here with the light green. I'm gonna go over here. So I'm leaving this section where my hand is. I'm gonna leave that white. If you want to go up a little bit, you can. If you want to blend in with the top area, you can as well. So I'm going to go down with the light green over here and over here a little bit. Next up, I'm going to find a medium green or just a regular green. Try to go over here with this regular green. That's not a regular green. <laughs> Alright, this should be a little better. And it is. Alright, so I'm going to do this part green and this part green. It's looking really good now. And then now, finally, I'm gonna go with a regular blue and color this bottom half all blue, just like this. Okay. And then I'm gonna switch blues and do a different color blue. Perfect, this is exactly what I wanted. All right, so now we have the shading of the background all done and it looks pretty, pretty itself. If I call it done like right now, I wouldn't be mad at all, but there's some details that I wanna add. So the first detail I want to add is um, uh, tadpoles and stuff like that. So maybe you want to take like a dark green. Maybe you want to add some tadpoles here and there. So I'm going to draw a little bit of a V, sideways Vs uh, sporadically here. Once I do a couple of Vs here and there, I'm going to add a semicircle to finish them. So this will be a couple of tadpoles. And as we add more stuff, the picture will start to come together more. So don't worry if it looks weird now. Okay, there's another tadpole. All right, I don't want to add a little bit of blades of grass, so I'm probably use either using the same green or darker green if I can find one. I'm just gonna add a couple streaks here and there of grass. So maybe I'll go like this. Just like so. Just random streaks of green from the bottom heading up. Sometimes people like to put in the bottom right here like that and on top of my lilies I do want to add a couple of these lotus flowers here and there you don't have to do every lily I'll just do three right there all right let's see what other details we can add hmm. we can add little shades of grass into the water so maybe I'll add a couple lines in here a couple lines is here as well in here too so so far the bottom where my grass is looks really neat I add, might add some pink here. I'm gonna add pink tiny ovals. This will represent some petals maybe that have fallen into the water. And I'll add these sporadically everywhere. Looking very calm so far. And the bottom half of my project looks amazing, by the way. Okay, so some more details that they've added were some trees and some other things going away from the top end. Um, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna add more green on the outside here. I'm gonna try to make it really dark. So I make sure this comes off the side of the page, like so. 
And then maybe I'll add some dark leaves in the background. So maybe a leaf right here and I'll color it in really dark. Maybe here and there. And it might make the picture look good, but I don't know. I'm trying my best here. But I'm thinking like it's looking like a success here. So I'm gonna keep going with it. A couple more lines going from the side. So add a couple of zigzags here of green to make it look more interesting. Um, I don't think there was birds in this picture, in the real one. I could be mistaken. Uh, but I do want to add some browns to symbolize branches and stuff. So I'm going to add some browns here, some browns right there, maybe some browns lines in the middle right here, and then I definitely want a couple coming from the top, just like so. That way it's not so blank up top. I think it's looking really good so far. And I think I'm gonna call it done. I don't know. What do you guys think? All right. I like this picture a lot. I'm gonna leave it alone before I ruin it anymore. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this Monet lesson right here. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.